Hello and welcome to a special part 2 edition of returning 56006, the last Romanian class 56, back into traffic. Our preference is hydraulic locomotives, but we do like to help out other groups too. We thought it was important to get this loco going again, as I don't think it's run for the last three years. A member of the BHG team spent a whole week looking at the loco and finding earth faults. Lots of work done on this, and this is just a snippet of the work carried out. Here we're testing the earth fault relay, which was tripping at three milliamps, which is absolutely nothing. So we put a shunt resistor ah. in line just to desensitize it, and we're just testing it here to see what it's going at. Um, you can actually hear the relay click as we increase the voltage on the little power pack. Uh, I think we set it to 40 milliamp, which is a bit more realistic for a machine of this age and I, I doubt very much even when the thing was new it would have ever had anything less than three milliamp it's a ridiculous figure there you go that's better 40 milliamp this is the item that caused the problem last time in the June gala this is the traction motor blow which burnt out as you can see Malcolm Kirkwood here is doing a full oil prime on the engine and we're just testing over everything just to make sure We've not missed anything. Look close up here of the shunt relay we put in. Other contactors and relays here. And the cards again with Tesla's era. So here we go for a start up. This is an absolute credit to the group who own this locomotive as the engine is so smooth and sweet, virtually no clag at all after starting the engine. Compared to our hydraulic locomotive, it's quite strange being in the loco and being able to talk quite normally to each other without raised voices. Uh, in here we're just going through the cooler group uh, to actually look at the engine itself and again smooth engine. So all's left to do now is a test run. So first thing we did, I've just highlighted the uh, ammeter, which it didn't do before. It would trip straight away. So moved it to the end of the yard. 14's on the back, just as insurance in case it doesn't want to go. As you can see, we're slowly starting to pull away. Here we go, the straight air released. there we are taking some power so you can see we've moving quite steady now and both of us are looking at each other uh, with big smiles on our face because it seems to be working really nicely plenty of power as well which is something it's, it didn't do last time so next was on the agenda was should we take it any further or should we just call it a day and obviously we decided to uh, well, we decided to take it for a little test run up the East Lanks, up the Broadfield ski jump. Again, class 14 is just on the back, um, not really for dead load or anything, more just in case the local decides to sit down and fail, which it didn't. So it's quite happily powering away there, no issues at all. So it's quite down now to so let you listen to that exhaust. carboned up at the moment, we'll need a good clear out. Absolutely effortless going up the ski jump. Just a point to remember, we're jumping all over the place, testing everything, making sure nothing's getting hot. 
Uh, so that's why the videos are a bit all over the place. Both of us extremely happy with the results there. And nothing got hot with the new equipment we put on and everything came out positive. However, it should be noted that this is not a green light for the loco to attend the gala as the loco does need an exam before it can uh, haul passenger trains. But I don't really see any issue with this because it is a good machine. The owning group are going to be looking at the engine, getting it ready, but the BHG will be returning to the loco again to start the exam to ensure it is safe to work trains at the East Lanks. It's a huge step forward for this loco as this is the furthest it's been in, to my knowledge, three years. So support the railway, support the group and book your tickets now for the Autumn Diesel Gala. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you share and like to promote this video.